Did you know that there is a food that will help you dramatically reduce cancer and heart disease and build your immune system? Let's talk for just a second about the red bell pepper before I show you a fast and easy way to chop it. Botanically, the red bell pepper is a fruit, but nutritionally, it's a vegetable. It has over eight times the amount of vitamin A than a green bell pepper. It has more than two times the daily recommended allowance for a vitamin C and three-fourths of your daily vitamin A that you need. One red bell pepper, medium size, is 37 calories. It can be used in omelets and casseroles and soups, stews, curries, um, hash, quiches, uh, the list goes on and on. You can have it in salads, you can eat it raw or cooked or steamed or roasted. It has vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin, vitamin B6, folate, fiber, vitamin K, niacin, and thiamine. It will help you lose weight, it will improve your eyesight, and it is a vital part of your diet to build a healthy immune system. Hello friends, welcome to Heritage Ways. I'm Miss Katie, and today we are going to learn a quick and easy way to chop bell peppers. Just take the top off and the bottom. You're going to use those, so reserve that. Then you make a slit in your pepper, as you see me doing here. Kind of lay it down and, and get the um, insides out. Yeah, just kind of cut those veins out and, and take the insides out. You can save the seeds if you're interested in doing that or put it in the compost. Now, you just take the pieces that you have, put them on top of one another and slice matchsticks or some might call this julienne. Red peppers are so healthy. We should, you might have heard it said to eat the rainbow and red peppers are so good with vitamin C and so many other healthy uh, minerals and benefits to your body. And I love the flavor of them as opposed to green peppers. I like green peppers as well, but there's just something about red peppers and especially roasted red peppers. They're so good. All right, now you have your matchsticks, like a little pile of firewood there, and you just gather up a little pile of them and just hold them together there with your fingers and take your knife and rock it along the cutting board to chop the sticks into pieces. And you can get it pretty finely chopped this way. Now, notice how I'm using my fingers as a guard. Okay, my, my knuckles, um, I'm using them as a guard and I don't cut the tips of my fingers that way. Um, and like I said, it is kind of a, a, a guard to, um, or a guide as well as a guard. And those pieces, you see how I'm just, they can be evenly chopped up, even, evenly cut. And then take the top and the bottom and you can kind of just run your knife over that and chop that as well. Rocking the knife along the cutting board is the secret. So there you have it, my friends, and you can just put these chopped peppers in a baggie and keep them for a day or two if you're prepping for a meal, or you can put them in the freezer, label them, and just pull them out or tear off a frozen chunk of peppers next time you want to make an omelet or casserole or add it to ground beef or what have you. The possibilities are endless and red peppers are so delicious 
and healthy. Do you like red peppers? Let me know down below in the comments if you like red peppers. Some folks prefer yellow peppers or green. <laughs> there you go. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and come back tomorrow and we're going to learn another kitchen tip. Thanks for joining us, y'all. We'll see you next time.